listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Are men and women equal? In what way? You tell me. You can go whichever these way are very, you want. These are very broad questions. Intentionally broad. They're all broad. They, okay, okay. I see what's going on now. I see what's going on. Um, are men and women equal? In some ways, yes. In other ways, no. Like, I feel like men and women can balance one another as far as like what men can do, um, some things women can't do and, you know, what women can do, you know, men can't do. I feel like we're very like yin and yang. We can balance each other very well. But in some ways, as far as like what society deems, I feel like men are typically more superior, if, according to society, because men typically get paid more and men typically are listened to quicker, quicker than women are. It's just, it's a lot of things that society gives to men that women kind of have to fight for, kind of have to, you know, work their way up towards just to get a balance the same as, you know, men naturally get if that makes sense yeah it does um do, do you think um there is you know like in a, in a modern context do you feel like there is a battle of the sexes like uh one side trying to show the other side that i'm better than you or trying to prove that you know what i mean is, is yeah there... i probably yeah I would say so, because I feel like, I'm not going to say all men, because that's a general statement, but I feel like a good bit of men, you know, they do deem themselves as superior because of what society has instilled for a long time. And so women are now coming up and saying, you know, well, why is he doing the same job that I'm doing, but I'm getting paid like $5 less than he is, or why does he get to say what he feels and he's seen as being opinionated and strong but when I try to do that I'm, I'm emotional and I need to calm down I'm doing too much so it's just like I think there is a battle because things are kind of shifting and I think things are wanting as far as like society is wanting things to be more equal so I think there's there is kind of the battle women are like nah so with with the pay gap thing um mm -hmm. is that a thing it is a thing. Okay, explain that. It's a thing. I'm not going to say I have experience, but I have experience of um, basically a guy who's just coming into a job that I had. No experience. I have been there for some years and started at a certain wage. He came in with no experience and automatically made like $3 more than I did. And I didn't find out until later on. I'm just like, well, what's the, you know, not quite understanding. So they did a study on it. They did a study on it. And part of the reason that is, so it's, it's two main reasons and I'm not going to go super deep because I'm not that smart. But <laughs> one, <laughs> one of the reasons is women tend to not negotiate. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's a there's a chance, especially if it was a white dude, he mm -hmm. probably came in saying, I want three dollars extra than whatever mm -hmm. you guys are offering. Women tend to not negotiate. Um, the second reason for the pay gap is that men usually choose jobs that pay more than women. And those jobs tend to be riskier. Those jobs tend to be in uh, STEM and things like that, whereas women tend to go to humanities. Those jobs don't pay as much. Mm -hmm. But the third thing, too, is employers recognize or think that men are more willing to throw themselves at their work mm -hmm. than women 
Yeah. Like women prioritize later, I'm going to have kids, I need mm-hmm. maternity leave, things like that. And that gives men leverage mm-hmm. to demand more money. So that's what the pay gap is. It's not actually that men are making more money than women doing the same thing the same way. Um, thoughts? But I think it is. But that is what it is. It's like, yeah, all those reasons exist. It's the, when you look on paper, Tommy's making this amount of money and Julia over here is making three or four dollars less regardless of but context matters right no when it comes to paychecks it doesn't okay let, let's <laughs> let me give you an example when it comes to payday he still got paid more than me let me let me give you an example so um one of the big debates is um the WNBA. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. they are demanding that they should make just as much as the nba let's talk about it why they're doing the same thing <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will I will have full disclosure in saying I am not a sports person, so I know very basic knowledge. They're doing the same thing, aren't they? No. They're not both playing basketball. What is the women doing? Playing women's basketball. No, 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 no. They're still the but fundamentally the game is the same, is it not? Do they not? Have, they have different rules. Yes. Like crazy. the three point line is is further in men. Um, the um, I think the quarters are different, but ultimately the reason women get paid, uh, the female basketball players get paid less is because if you look at a WNBA game, the bleachers are like 25% full. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. So. They, they deserve support too. That's sad. So, that's the, not nice. the, the, the salary is a consequence of the support. The support isn't a consequence of the salary. So like, why should Candace Parker get paid as much as, uh, LeBron James. But I still think at the end of the day, regardless, they're still doing the same thing. No, but what I'm saying is where does the money come from to pay Candace Parker? I don't know where money comes from to pay them. Is it like, as far as basketball goes, their money comes strictly from ticket sales and fans and all it's, that? It's ticket sales. It's endorsement deals. It's... Um, um, yeah, pretty, you, you say both of those things, ticket sales, endorsement deals, right? So if I am drafting a player and he can get me ticket sales and he is a highly sought after player, he's going to make more money, whereas nobody's watching WNBA. And what's ironic about it, even the women who complain that WNBA players don't get paid enough, don't go to WNBA games, don't watch WNBA. So where is this money supposed to come from? Yeah. It sounds like they need to get creative or it sounds like it sounds like a marketing challenge, maybe. For who? Like why? Maybe they need to figure out. I don't know. Don't. What are the what are the things where they get a bunch of different people from div- different demographics in and they do like a, is it a study? Where they ask questions and they try to get a focus like a, group. Yeah. Yeah. Focus group. Maybe they need to do some focus groups and figure out why people don't want to go. It's not exciting. They've, they've done that. It's not exciting. Why is it not exciting? Because I would rather pay to watch LeBron James dunk on somebody instead of Do women not dunk? No. Like, you tell me none of them dunk? Like two, two of them dunk. And it's not like a... I'm not knowledgeable enough in the sport to know. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm, I'm putting you away. It's not, it's not impressive at all. Like watching a WNBA game is like... It's not even... Like some high school teams could beat WNBA players. I I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable enough to say like, oh no, you're wrong. Well, but, but yeah, that, that's right. just a consequence of like the physical differences between men and women. So, and and I think that's a good example of the the pay gap being more nuanced than just women shouldn't get paid as much. It's like, where is the money supposed to come from? And what, what's ironic is, even in the instances when NBA players have like tweeted out, hey y'all go support. Um, these WNBA players, or like one time, a player tweeted like, yo, number two on this WNBA team is, is nice. Mm-hmm. And she got mad. She was like, I have a name, this and that. And people were like, he's trying to help you. <laughs> he's trying to expose you to a larger audience. But there's like a pomposity and like an audacity that like, I'm just as good, if not better than you. Because I mean... Don't they have to go through the same things that the NBA players go through as far as like 
going through school and like getting drafted. There's a draft for women's. Yeah, don't they have to do like the same things pretty much to get to? It's 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 the same thing uh, theoretically, but as far as the um, physical requirements, as far as the level of skill required, as far as the level of strength, speed, agility, it's not not no nowhere the same. That's why nobody knows when the WNBA draft is. So you think if the physical requirements and the skill requirements changed as far as the WNBA goes, that they would get more attendance at their games? One of the um, suggestions, actually Tracy McGrady, I think he made this suggestion to a WNBA player. And this is part of the issue. He was like, have you guys considered maybe lowering the rims to nine feet? What are the rims at now? Ten. Ten? It's the same as men's rims. Um, and his point was, you know, if you lower the rims to nine feet, y'all can dunk now, y'all could do more. It's more of a, it's more of an exciting game, this and that. And she was insulted. She was like, no, I've played on a 10 foot rim all my life and I'm not lowering it and we're not, then how dare you and this and this and that. So it's like the average woman is not going to be able to jump as high as the average man. The average elite woman is not going to be able to jump as high as the average Is there a study that says that? That's just biology. I mean, do you think they could? I, I don't think it's right to say they can't just because they're women. Like, oh, that's clearly a woman. She can't, you know, let me lower this rim down. She can't get, what does that have to do with anything? I think she could do it if she wants to do it. Okay, let's talk about it. I think it's like the man practices and she's in the gym like she's supposed to be. I don't think her being a woman has anything to do with whether she can get up there or not. So men and women are equal physically. Yes, but no. Explain. Yes, but no. In that sense, in talking about sports, I don't think it's right to say, oh, we got to make, you know, these exceptions because you're women. That's like the, the comparison I see in my mind is seeing like a disabled person, for instance, and assuming that they need your help. They, don't, they didn't ask for your help. So why are you just assuming that you need to make this, you know, exception for them or, you know. Yeah, but the, the disabled Olympic sprinter world record shouldn't be the same as Usain Bolt's. Like they should have a different world record mm -hmm. based on their, you know, capabilities. Abilities. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's the same for, I don't know. And, and the, the, the idea is women can't, on average, mm -hmm. women cannot run as fast as men. On average, women are not as strong as men. Mm -hmm. On average, women aren't as agile and, and physically whatever as men. So the requirement should be lower. Do you think they should be the same as men? Again, I'm not a sports person. <laughs> so like my sports opinion is just like, mm. But a lot of people who have these opinions aren't sports people. And that's why they have. I know my lane. <laughs> I know I do not know sports, but. If those women and those people that participate in women's basketball want it to be the same, I think it should be the same. But you, but then you can't also think they should get paid the same. Because if you think they should get paid the same, my question would be, where is the money coming from? That's where, you know, again, they're going to have to do some adjusting. I don't know adjusting as far as like who they draft. Adjusting. No, they're drafting the best. They're drafting the best, and you're saying the best is still like not as good as the best men. Actually, they actually did. Uh, what's funny? They did um, the Americans women's soccer team, which is the best soccer team, we female soccer team in the world. They did a scrimmage against a high school boys team in like Australia. They lost seven zero. Okay. Could have been a bad day. I do seven zero. I do know that about sports. You could. You know, seven zero though. Or those boys could have been training for like three years ahead of time because they really wanted to beat them. But I don't you, know. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I don't know. The national team. Okay. Versus fifteen year olds. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> no, the boys were fifteen. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen. They beat them by seven zero. Mm. So I mean, at some point, we're gonna have to acknowledge they. What were the conditions? Was it raining outside? No, it was sunny day. <laughs> we're gonna have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have to admit it. Was it a home game or was it a away game? Like the, the national team, <laughs> the World Cup winning American 
women's team was beaten by some boys. I'm just going to boil down to it was a bad day for them. It's a bad day. Or maybe they wanted to make the little boys feel good. You know? 7-0? You know, you know what? I don't know much about soccer either. Okay, I'll put it in context. 7 0 in soccer is like getting beat 120 to 0 in basketball. Hmm, okay. It's bad. Okay. Yeah, like 7 0 is like Brazil, like the elite, elite team. Why is it so hard for women to admit, like, men are physically superior? Why is that so hard? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Why is that hard? Mm. I mean, I guess for me personally, I come from a family of a lot of women and a lot of very like strong, independent women who have always went above and beyond to, you know, do for themselves and not really rely on anyone. And so I don't know. I just I haven't been taught to like, oh, he's a man. He's superior. Like, that's just this not- physically. No, I don't think men are superior. I think men are physically superior. In any way, though. <laughs> but why is that hard to admit? We could because you you can try to pick up something, and I'm gonna I'm gonna at least try to pick up that same thing that you just picked up. I'm not gonna say, well, I'm a woman, I can't pick that up. Like, no, you know what I think? I'm gonna try to pick that up. Absolutely, I think you should. But you know what I think is the issue? What's the issue? If I'm not willing to, on a person-to-person level, right? Not even men and women. But I think more specifically men and women. If I'm not willing to acknowledge your strengths, mm-hmm. I can't fully appreciate you. Yeah, sure. Because there's the sense of anything I could do, I mean, anything you could do, I could do better. Right? And unfortunately, I think one of the consequences of feminism is it creates an environment where most women, particularly our women, have no appreciation for men. To the point where you can't even admit that we are physically superior. <laughs> like, at least admit that. Like, you can try to pick the thing up. I don't like the word superior. Like, that word is just like... I think women are uh, emotionally, empathetically superior. You guys are better nurturers, just off top. And I'm not saying some men aren't great teachers, nurses, um, caretakers, but the average woman is superior to the average man in that regard. And as a consequence of, of my testosterone, I'm going to have denser bone structure. I'm going to have more musculature than the average woman. That just is. So my thing is, why can't we admit that? Why is that so hard? Do we need a minute? Yes. Do, do men go out of their way to say you're just emotionally superior? I think they should. But do they? I think I think they should. I think they should. Should I would, I would and be, do are different, though. Well, I think. Part of the reason they don't is number one, I don't think enough men are taught to, Mm -hmm. but number two, in that battle, it's hard to say, "Ah, you got that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to admit defeat. I'm the type of person, I'm going to say, okay, this is where you're better. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, you should be able to admit, okay, you can open a jar of pickles better than I can. Like, Okay, but to go back to what you just said, if men cannot admit where women have strengths that they don't, why do women have to, oh, we have to step into that. Oh, we have to admit that you guys are superior, but you guys aren't able to, you know what I'm saying? No, I think both sides should admit. Yeah, both sides have to, it can't just be like, oh, women, let's, you know, just make sure, you know, we tell them he's strong, like, nah, like, I will say this though. I will say, and we about to get controversial in a second. I will say the consequences. <laughs> I think the consequences of women not admitting it outweigh the consequences of men not admitting it. Why? Simply because one of the things that's coming out of the transgender movement mm-hmm. is the idea that trans women are women. Mm-hmm. So trans women should be in women's spaces, Mm -hmm. whether it's sports, whether it's spas, whether it's, um, you know, spaces that have been exclusively reserved for women. Mm -hmm. And because you're unwilling to recognize that physically, biologically, that is not a woman, you subject yourself to whatever harm is a consequence of that. You want to give you examples? Okay. I'm listening. There is a, um, there was a UFC fighter, uh, 
by the name of Fallon Fox. Okay. Fallon Fox transitioned at the age of like 30 okay. from a man to a woman. So all, puberty had already happened, this and that. Okay. Identifies as a woman, fights in the UFC. Okay. Was a terrible fighter, but was biologically a man. Okay. The consequence of that was he was breaking women's skulls. Mm. Okay. So damage that wouldn't have otherwise happened if you were fighting a fellow woman. Um, you have a high school wrestler who was breaking women's records and dominating uh, the, the, the wrestling circuit because biologically he was a man. Or you have other um, instances, uh, cyclists, uh, power lifters, this and that. So um, is that fair to women? Mm. Is it fair? Is it fair to women? Yeah. Mm. Now you've been training to sprint all your life. Mm -hmm. And you got to run against Usain Bolt with a wig on. You can't say it like that now. Okay. Is it fair? Um, mm, that's interesting. I don't, I don't know. 